hi, hello, and welcome back to Planning with Jamie. Thank you so much for being here today. Um, we are in our Erin Condren 7x9, and we are going to do our February monthly. So for this monthly, we are going to use kit 306 in my Etsy shop. This kit I absolutely love. It is so much fun. I was going to do a different one, but I last minute chose this one instead. Um, I kind of love all my kits for February. Like, they were so fun to design and put together and all this kind of stuff. So I had a really hard time picking which one I wanted to use, but luckily I have a couple monthlies that I need to do. So kit 306, this is seven by nine, also offered in a, a five, basically anything in my shop that you see in one size also comes in the other size. I have pre-filled out a couple of things, but not many. And then we have already like all of our different holidays in there. And then I had pulled just in case I need my Chrissy Ann design stencil. And then I also pulled orthodontist sticker. I already put on one, my work stickers, my no school stickers and my dance stickers. So I'm not sure if I'll need more than this, but I knew this was a good starting point. And then one other thing I just designed, haven't even taken them off of the sticker paper yet, is last month, let's take a peek back here. So last month we ended up doing um, this for January and it looked beautiful. And then the page before is just open. And so this was my January to-do list. And so I've been putting off designing these little labels and I finally did it. So we just need to throw these down. There we go, January to-do list. Let's take a peek, guys, because it is officially February 1st. So we need to see what all got done. So master bedroom got done, dishwasher deep clean got done, put away Christmas decor, detail Betty White didn't get done, um, clean office got done, kitchen deep clean got done, clean mom's house, yes, clean the maid, which is our robotic vacuum, yes, pantry cleanup, I didn't do as good as I wanted to do, but they did get done, deep clean bathrooms, I'm halfway on that one. We have four bathrooms. I really deep cleaned two and a half of them, um, but I feel like I could have done better work. So we're not going to give a full entire check checkbox for that. Meal plan, vision, open enrollment. That's going to pull through to February. Schedule a little Peds August appointment. How silly. This takes like five minutes of my time and I never got it done. So that will fall through to February. Also, Game night, update family calendar, update business calendar, digital declutter, ice skating. The weather was too bad. There was zero opportunity. Um, Lexi stop, her early bird gym happened. Clean out inbox happened. Release March kits happened. Return cans also didn't happen. Update planning with Jamie sales calendar and update planning with Jamie finances did happen. Content plan next month. We haven't done that yet, but we're getting ready to. Update monthly goals halfway done and update quarter one sales co code also done something got a hiccup in that and a few of you guys had a hard time using it i've updated it all it should be used anybody that had a hard time um i worked with them and made it right with them so also can i do two quick shout outs Caitlin from Delaware, loved your order. You are going to have so much fun with all those kits. And then my other shout out is Jaren. She's one that had a hard time with this code. And she also was so patient and sweet. We had all those snowstorms and her package didn't get to her in a timely manner. And I asked her just to give it a couple more days because I saw that the tracking was updating and it finally reached her. And you are a rock star, Jaren. I really, really appreciate like your understanding that like weather happens. And I hope you have so much fun planning with all your kits. Your order also has already gone out, your second order. So that is so exciting. All right, let's... For January, we got a lot of stuff done. Still didn't do that part, but we'll get to it. Guys, I'm loving this layout. It is working so, so perfect for me. And then this is the February running list. So we'll get rid of, I use like post-it notes everywhere. We'll get rid of that and we'll put February to-do list. And I am going to fill this out off of screen just because it will take so long. 
So we're just gonna set it up with the title there. And then let's get going on our February one. All right. So I find the best way to put down these headers is to just turn it upside down like what I have it right now. And then, oh my God, this is so fun. Look at this, you guys. I love this print. As soon as I saw it, like saw the design, I'm like, yep, that's perfect. That's absolutely what I want to be in my shop. So what is throwing me off here? is um, I put all my weekly stickers and this one's sticking just a titch over. But you can see this fits perfectly all the way to the coils. All right, let's turn it over and let's do the second side. So I've kind of been on the late side doing these monthlies and I need to get better because Life is so fast paced and there is so much stuff getting um, getting planned like months ahead. And so I show this every single month, right? Like these, it, this is one of my printables in my Etsy sticker store. And so you could pick what the month is. You fill in all your own dates and stuff. I have this for the whole entire year um, pre printed out because look like way far in advance we already have a whole bunch of stuff already planned and so I need to be able to um, write it down so that it doesn't get lost track of because if it is not in mama's planner it does not happen all right that is cute and then last month, I did not use all of the stickers. I'm going to this month, and we're just going to speed through this. We have all our date dots down absolutely like last month I didn't use them and see how the dates don't pop out of the page so I really liked using them and make the dates pop so that's the reason why I did that change this time all right let's put all of these holidays down we have Groundhog Day and then on this page We have Valentine's Day. My husband's an accountant, so I don't even get Valentine's Day with him. He's just working nonstop. So, and it started even earlier this year. Guys, I appreciate your accountant because they sure do put in some long hours during this time of year. All right, and last but not least, we have Super Bowl Sunday. Is it? Okay, it's the 11th, and I think it's the 49ers and the Chiefs. I don't pay attention to football at all. So, guys, be impressed that I knew that. <laughs> I seriously, like, I'll watch my Iowa Hawkeyes, but I don't really care if I miss it either. So, okay, so there's all the holidays are in. All right. So we have a whole bunch of stuff. Let's go ahead. I'm always in between exactly where I want to start with this, but I already have a whole bunch of these already written down. So I think let's get to those. I know that day is a solo trio day. The 17th is a solo trio day. 
and it's actually the second, but I do think I'm going to go ahead and put it, and that way, like, pre-planning ways, I know what I'm talking about for that. The orthodontist is the fifth. I'll put it right there in the middle, and that's at 2.30. And then I'm just gonna kind of put it on the side there. This is the Scribble stuff. These are at Walmart, and it's much like um, our Paper Mate flares here, but yet they're almost a little bit stiffer, and I'm finding they don't dry out as much. And so I have been loving these and chose to use it for this month, and it's been working out really, really perfect. Okay. Oh, you actually, you know, something we do need to get in here before we get too far is work. Let's go ahead and put our work ones. Got those in there okay then we also have a couple no school days so let's get um we can use these red ones so we had all of these um no school days because of weather like cancellations late starts and i have not heard yet exactly what they are going to do to make up those hours. Like we already have some built in, but we don't have that many built in. Okay, let's, I know I flip this on you guys a lot, but I think I'd be able to reach it right. All right, so Monday is a no school day. And then the 19th President's Day is a no school day for all of my children. So we'll just stack that right on top of there. Okay, and now we're gonna start going in order. So, and these are early outs. Honestly, I'm gonna make early out stickers to throw onto them. And so those are going to wait a little bit. This, we have a field trip, which is right here. We literally just found out about this two days ago. and she had to be at school like an hour early to leave for it so that they were there by performance time. I just laugh because I guess a teacher from last year ended up planning it and like she ended up leaving and so it fell through the wayside of anybody really recognizing that they already had this lined up. So I'm happy the kids got to go do it, um, but it's kind of hard on parents last minute. Okay, here's our orthodontist one. This is an anniversary, so let's put that one in. That way I don't forget to congratulate them on all the years. Okay, this will be an early out. We have an eye appointment for my son, my poor son. So he had gone blind, right? He's still blind in that eye. 
I haven't really regained much vision by any means, but he is having migraines like nonstop almost. Um, so I'm really excited actually to go to this appointment and discuss it and see if there's anything that we can do for him because it's really hurting. He has missed um, two days of school this week. Could have been three, but we ended up sending him one day in hopes that that would help him. But yeah, he's missing school because they're just being so bad. Okay, then we have Valentine's Day and an early out. We have a work day, and this is a two hour early out for my daughter, which is not normal. And so we are going to put that onto one of these. So two o'clock CAA early out. Like Wednesdays, I know my littles get out early, so it's not a big deal if it doesn't get on here. But anything that is outside of the norm, I need to write in here. So solo trio practice, and then I work, and then we have all four of my kids go to the dentist. Yay. On President's Day. They have no school, and we have to wake up so early still. They're going to be so mad at me. But it's kind of nice to get it done in that way, too, if we want to go out and about and do something like it's out of the way for the day. So as much as they dislike it, it's kind of on purpose all at the same time. Okay, and then here we have a competition. So I think what I'm going to do for that, let's grab one of these washi strips. And we're going to put the washi strip down. Anything that is longer term like over the span of a few days. I like to use washi strips um, right here. I like to use washi strips to denote like longer spanned items so that when I look down and I see this pink, I know when it, when it stops and when it starts. All right. There we go. Oh, you know what, too? Valentine's Day, my kids have, we're gonna span this over a couple of days. My kids have their Valentine's Day parties at school. I have to look what time it is. I'm off that day, so I would love to attend, so I need to start emailing their teachers to let them know that I could be there to participate and help. The hard part is it's only a half hour. I have three kids. So if I tried, like Christmas, I tried to do 10 minutes with each kid. And by the time I got to the last kid, like they were almost cleaning up for the day. Like I barely got to spend time with her. And that broke my little heart. And so either I'm gonna go the opposite direction or I'm only gonna do one kid, or maybe I'll span it over two kids and then the next party thing, span it over two different kids. I don't know, I'm just gonna try my best because that's all we can do, right? Okay, so we got down here to this weekend. We have competition and then I have a work vacation day, a early out. Guys, this is leap year and I'm actually surprised, guys, I did not um, make one. I didn't make it as a holiday and I kind of wish I did for you guys, sorry. Next year I'll make it up. <laughs> I mean, like, in four years, I'll make it up for you guys. All right, so leap year, because that's just kind of a fun thing. You know, you don't get too many leap years. Okay, and then I work, and then we have solo trio practice again on that day. Okay, then the next thing I really like to denote, this is, like, very pink and red. That's for sure. But I am actually loving it all at the same time. Okay. The next thing I really love to note, and I'm just looking at my colors here to pick, I think we're gonna pick this light pink, is um, I like to put my dance schedule over here so that if I get confused on the days, I can look over there. Because, guys, it's just so busy. Oh my gosh, like so, so much going on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me look back here real quick. 
So now I'm second guessing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, yeah, so I was one too many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this goes on number nine. There we go. And then we're just going to copy it over from January's. So on Tuesday, we have KBA. On Wednesday, we just have B and A. These are my kids' initials, like who has it on what day is what I'm putting. And then Thursday, we have K, B, A. Alrighty, so Tuesday is 4.30 to 6.30. This kid is 4.30 to 6.30, and then this kid is 5.30. I was second guessing if it was 5.15. 5.30 to 8.15. Then we have 4 to 7.30, and that day we pack a supper because they're there so long. And then we have 6.30 to 8.30. Oh, good news. So last video, I ended up saying something about like the ceiling collapsed and rain was pouring in through the studio and all this damage and stuff. It has quit leaking. Um, she's still fighting the landlord on it. He still doesn't want to cover any portion of it, even though it's been a chronic issue. Probably something he definitely knew about before she ended up leasing with him. But... Um, we're getting our, all our studio rooms back open. We have five of them. And we need all five of them to function because she runs such a great business. Okay, I have a lot left. I guess one thing I ended up not putting was this was also a competition. What color did I use? Red. Let's put... My girls did so good. I was not sure because uh, this competition has even harder um, acts that end up coming to it. And so I was a little bit nervous, like if they'd be able to hold their own. Like my oldest, I knew she could, but I put it a little crooked. I'm going to correct it here. Um, I knew my oldest could, but, you know, my youngest ones are still like building their confidence and their abilities and stuff. And so they did good. They got third again on their trio. And then my daughter, we got a whole bunch of first place for groups. Like they did really, really awesome. Um, but then my daughter for her solo, there was 31 in her section, like 31 total solos that she was going against. And she got eighth place, you guys. And that's even with messing up on a spot. So I was so proud of her. She was crying. I love when my kids like are so appreciative and show their emotions that way. And I was crying and yeah, all of us was so proud of her. All right, guys, there you have it. So this is kit 306 in my Etsy shop. If you guys love it, go ahead, go search it out. There is this, a dashboard, daily duo like there's a whole bunch of different stuff that has this exact print on it and is so so cute so give this video a big thumbs up also make sure you're subscribed and i'll see you in the next one bye